Blade too, if you catch them. We're gonna trick them and slaughter a lot of them. But like me, it's so much easier to make you the, this 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 slave that we're taking from Barbados or wherever after. It's so much easier to make you into a slave because there's this physical attribute that you have. Because what you find is that initially white servants and, 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 and black slaves had no issue with each other. Oh, that's true. They had no issue. They fought together. They ate together. They had babies together. Mm -hmm. Understand that America, what became America, made us enemies and made us a bottom and said that you can't deal with those people. Those people are contagious. We're going to make laws that, that are so awful that you cannot be around those people. And we're going to steal from those people and give to you. We're going to steal from those slaves and give to you. It used to be a time when you could have a cow or whatever, your master gave you a cow, but then then the state said we're going to take that. Whatever you grow, whatever extra you have as a, as a black slave, we're going to take all that. And we're going to, and not only are we going to take it, we're going to redistribute it to white people. So oh, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Yvette, Yvette, Yvette. Miss Yvette, that's a book club going. Yeah. It's hard to get books here in South Africa. I would join the book, I mean, I would have got a book or whatever have you, even a book that she's reading. Not that I have enough time to do that. But you know, it's very hard to get books here in South Africa. I mean, you know, a lot of these books I got from the States here, even, you know, Say, for instance, here's a scholarly book. I, I, don't you all fall. Here's a scholarly book. You know Marimba, don't you? Romantic? Okay, well, just a book. You, don't worry. So a book like this, I really can't get down here. This came from the States. I had to bring it down from the States. Put this right there. This kind of thing. In fact, I think I got it from her. Did she sign it? Oh. I usually don't have people sign my books. No, she didn't sign this one. I know I got it from her. Okay. Uh, Yvette Cornell, the book club, you know. Uh, well, she does, she broadcasts all the time. What am I wearing? Well, you know, I'm just wearing my thing. This is one of those things that, you know, it's, it's a traveling thing. Of course, you know, you could use it like a neck scarf, you know, when the wind would you dust on whatever, you do it like that. There's all kinds of ways you can do it. So I do it like this right now. Sorry I'm taking so long, but, you know, hey, it's a Sunday morning. My wife's at church. She does that Anglican thing. I'm a deist. I don't. I can go to any church, but I don't really check in churches, you know. I don't just into just sitting there watching people, you know, or listening to people throw, I say, pearls before swine, or whatever they do, you know, with the, with the white Jesus and all that, I'm not really into it. And though I, do I do, I, sometimes I check twice, I might check twice a year, like, right now it's coming to Easter time, right? So I might go hang out with church just for a second, you know, because, you know, the boy died, you know, and he resurrected, so I want to hear what they took to him about the resurrection, right? And then I also go to Christmas time, you know, when, when the boy was conceived, you know, so birth, death, well, that's what I do. But I got to thinking here, Especially with Yvette Cornell doing the book club. This is the second one she did. Um, scholarship, very important. Which makes this movement, ADOS movement, a little bit different. Because even though you know you had all these other like the we, we call them the Hotep crowd, you know the, the Pan African crowd, whatever it is. You know they have cost scholarship behind them, but that's all they had. And and, and they did, and their education process was to give lectures, you know. Uh, and so you had classes, whatever have you, but it wasn't like a movement like this. Here it's kind of interesting because of the internet and whatever have you, and people are doing some other things. But uh, what actually got me to thinking is this scholarship, and, and I was thinking, because like I said, I went to, this, I went to uh, my, my undergraduate degree is from uh, Livingston College, part of Rutgers University. And Rutgers University at that time, this is, this is still um, the uh, late 60s, early 70s, uh, they, Livingston College was created around, around, around about that time. Basically what it was, it was like an HBCU, you know, historically black college, in the middle of an Ivy League college in New Jersey. Think of it like that, you know? And um, and, the funny, and the funny thing about it is that, you know, we, we did all the things that HB, you know, HBCU would do, you know. I don't think we, had, we didn't have a marching band, but you know, 
well, football team, basketball team, the national basketball team, but I won, won championships, all that stuff. You know, you had the the the, uh, the, the Greek fraternities, if you will, all that, all that kind of stuff. We had a bunch of things happening. You know, I had I had two poetry traveling groups. You know, we had a bunch of stuff that black colleges would do that white colleges wouldn't necessarily do. Okay. And it was always fascinating. Not fascinating, but to, to, to show you what kind of school it was, the mean age for the, I said this before, the, but the mean age for a student at, at Livingston College at the time was about 25 years old. I think about 25, right? Now, to show you what I mean, how, how diverse the school was, like uh, one time I was, I was in a hall right before you get to the, it's called a great hall, right? You know, you know, space. And I was just um, leaning against the wall. At the time, I was um, I was writing I was writing a column. Or, or, no, I was, the I was the editor for the what, what we call the creation. Well, I, I named it the creations page for Black Voice Costa Rica, which is the the Black Puerto Rican you know newspaper on campus. It was a weekly newspaper. It was the only one in the country. It was Black and Puerto Rican. And these newspapers the only one in the country. College paper in the country. Amen. So I was the, the poetry, the editor of the, we call the creations page, where you can poetry and a bunch of other stuff. And the head of, um, head of the, uh, the editor, which was a guy named Norman, I forgot Norman's last name, smart guy, you know. So he was on the wall, he was like, we, did, we just laid on the wall, against the wall. He was talking to me, like, saying, he was just talking some stuff. And he's like, and Norman's a real intellectual kind of guy, you know what I mean? On my other side was this older, you know, again, black student, and he was he was a Vietnam veteran, and he was shell shocked. Now I was I, I'm, I'm a Vietnam era veteran. I didn't go to I didn't go into in, in country as they say. You know I was always in space, station uh, station in the states. But we'll talk about this some other time. So he's on the other side, talking whatever crazy. So Norman's saying one thing to me, and it was weird because they, I think they wanted to communicate with each other, and I was like the middle person. So the, the shell shock brother would say something, and, and then you call him Pete. He's shell shock, you know, sane but crazy. And so he was saying something. I said, well, Norman, he was he's trying to say is blah, 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 blah. Then Norman said something. I said, look, what, what, what Norman's trying to say is blah, blah, blah. It was a very interesting, I mean, it was, it, it was a weird conversation. The only time I ever have a, a weirder conversation when I went Peter Bosch and, and, and Vernon Reed was on either side of me talking about, we were backstage at a Prince concert, and they were talking some musical stuff, and I just had to extreme, take myself out of that. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I, I digress. So... It was wondering to me why why at that particular time you know they got rid of that college when you had so many people with real scholarship happening you know and then a year I mean yeah, recently my well maybe in the last ten years I realized if if they a lot of people remember that's right before the crack era hit so a lot of the the, the so called middle class black people that would be going to the next generation they got wiped out by the whole crack thing right. But if all those, if some of those people came through as scholars or whatever have you, then we would have been at this point, this AUS appointment, a point, a much maybe, at least twenty years ago. You see, because what's right now, this is almost like a perfect storm. A lot of scholars who've been working on stuff for years and years, they their work is now being elevated. A lot of uh, just a lot of uh, people are coming to this space that have real knowledge and then want to help the space rather than you know oh. No, we've been doing this for years, and we're gonna we're gonna, we're not a tip. No, you know you're not the tip of the spear anymore. You're, 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 you're you did what you did, and now you got to you know gather your troops, and you're gonna be right here to do that. Meanwhile, the tip of the spear is the ATOS movement, and that's what's going on. I hate to tell everybody that, but what's interesting to me is things like like by uh, doing the scholarship thing, you know. Um, uh, uh, all, all kinds of people uh, do, doing their, their, their movement thing, uh, all kinds of criticism. I call this period right now, right be, between now and say July 4th, you know, the, the birth of the nation or whatever have you. July 4th is a time where people are sniping at each other, with going at each other. I, mean, I love a lot of people on the thing. I mean, I, should, I, should, I, should I do the modern shout out thing? Yeah. Well, shout out to, to the Fuhrer. Yo, man, there's some people that are just so informatively entertaining, you know. I'm not talking, the black professional, all those people, are, they're, they're great, but you know, <laughs> my man, the Fuhrer, <laughs> hilarious, you gotta check him out. I'll try to put a link with him or something like that. It's, it's funny, you know. And also, you know, I'll get to some other time. Um, but I, what was I saying? Okay, so what, so what I'm trying to say is that uh, basically, uh, is, is justice delayed? You know what I mean. This should this movement should have happened a lot. Should have came to the fore a long time ago. There weren't enough troops. You know what I mean. Uh, uh, so now there are enough troops, and now we're sorting things out. 
we have an accurate name for ourselves, and we keep on moving, 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 moving. And that, and, and that's what uh, I mean. That's what's interesting about all that's happening now. And and if you're not involved with it, you should really get involved on some level. Just pay attention. Just the fact. I mean, they, um, her and um, and Tone Talks uh, did a broadcast. Uh, this is a Sunday on, on Friday about you know where we're. I think it was Friday. Yeah, they must have did it on Friday. Maybe did it earlier. Uh, about you know what about the black celebrities? They ain't saying nothing. This is going to be really interesting. Somebody's going to have to say something. But then we're going to say, what kind of celebrity are you? You know, when you have somebody like a, should I name the biggies? Like say a, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's, let's start with, like say with an Angela Bassett, you know, with a, you know, with a Samuel L. Jackson, you know, with a Denzel. If they start saying stuff, and it's in line with, AD, you know, ADOS, then it's really going to get interesting. And, and when I say say so, whether I say for or against, there's going to be some really interesting ramifications. To me, uh, for instance, when Sam said uh, talked about uh, Daniel Kaluuya um, getting the, the get out job, you know what I mean? The way he framed it was really interesting. Then it was this big blow up. And that's, I think that's what really, it was like, you can see these little sparks happening all over, but there's this really big, getting in people's conscience. Yeah, that's sort of right. That's sort of right. And now you've got this movement where we actually label ourselves and people are coming and trying to snipe what we're doing. And in fact, they take, and continue to, to feed off of us. I'm excited about allies, you know. The Fuhrer did this thing on uh, 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 the bow, this, the bow guy. The Boa Fifth Column, whatever. I was listening to him way before the Furious. So I was listening to all these people. So to see these folks come together is kind of really interesting. Same thing with with, with Yvette and Tom Tos and, and Army. I saw all that stuff coming together, and it was fascinating to me. But these little things build up to this to this to this moment. This is a moment in 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 time, moment in history. Beyond that, this is a moment in liberation that's really really important. To me. I mean, it's really important. I'll even go on. I'll leave, and I'll even say things that that, that Yvette and them you know are against, whatever. Things like cryptocurrency, they can accept some other time. That's going to be important. Uh, this whole thing about the, let's take something that she does. That she did there against. Um, so I have it here. Uh, I have it here. Hey, hold on. Well, I'll find it. Uh, I'm looking for it, and I'll find it. I think I'll find it. Maybe I won't find it. Maybe I will find it. Maybe I won't find it. Oh, here it is. Hey. Remember how everybody came down and, you know, well, I bet they were talking about Black Panther and t t taking side and p trying to be kill Margaret. Well, first of all, let me just say this. I identify with Nakia, the spy. You know what I'm saying? She, if you look at the picture, you know what I mean? You just go through all these major characters. Nakia is the one. She's the one. She was doing her business. They got interrupted for some funeral. She had to go back and deal with the funeral. Whispering in the king's ear, blah 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 blah. Hey, this was happening in the real world. You need to do this. He not listening. He even then the cousin comes and they were fighting and that and that and that. She survives. Cause spies always survive. That's the way. That's the way it is. So anyway, to the point is, who are you in this in this particular movement? Now you could you could be a killmonger if you want. You can be a chichala if you want. You could be a you know yuri if you want. You know you could be the queen mother if you want. You know, but. Um, Pick your side, but then you got to stand with that. You got to stand by your work, you know. Stand by your work. So I stand. I, I really love what what, what Yvette and them are doing. Uh, I stand by that work, uh, by their work, and I have to do my work, you know. So um, so that, that's where we stand. Uh, I, I I truly hope folks really start understanding that this this thing is a perfect moment in time, and that we've been delayed. Every time you've been delayed at something, you know, you, you folks have been working on on reparations for a while. You've been delayed. You, you haven't been successful. Now there's another movement. You have to under you have to start undergirding that movement, or at least exc exciting your troops. You got all these troops. Excite them, not to snipe against us, but to do what you're supposed to be doing. That's a simple message for me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect. Right here from a desk of the ADOS, drinking my lychee juice on a Sunday morning. <laughs>